Hi guys, it's Ivy Newport and I got my box from Donna Downey for Find Out Fridays and I'm so excited to open it. It's been sitting uh, on my desk for a little while now and it's been really hard not to have a peek, but I promise you I haven't. I did start um, kind of peeling back some of this stuff so you won't have to see me fight with the box for too long. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Okay, so let's have a look. First thing I'm pulling out here is some lovely teal tissue paper. That could come in handy. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Look at all these yummies. All right, it's kind of like Christmas. Pretty excited here. I've got, looks like a really cool big stencil to play with. That is really beautiful. It's kind of looks like a doorway here with, um, branches and it looks like a heart hanging. So that's very, very cool. Um, this looks like it's designed by Pam Carriker. We love her. So that's a big stencil. That'll be fun to, to do something with. So let's see what else is in here. I have got a stamp and it says, the greatest pleasure in life is doing what others say you cannot. Hmm, very cool. I love stamps, those are fun. And then I've got some, looks like some rusted wire. Wow, she's really challenging me. I love it. I can open it. Yeah, this is like rusty, rusty wire. Kind of cool. This should be interesting. Do something edgy with it. Maybe we'll have to embed it with some encaustics or I don't know. That could be really fun. And then, last but not least, I've got a Liquitex paint marker. Very cool, Impression Blue. That's a gorgeous color. I've never used one of these before. This should be very fun. So, I wonder what I'm going to do. Let's see. I'm going to kind of have a look here. So, hmm. Well, I know that I'm going to have to use a pretty big uh, canvas because this stencils rather large, just 9 by 12. Um, but I could see something happening with this that could be really cool. And I love this message here. This is going to be a really fun element. I don't think I've ever used like rusty wire or, you know, this kind of stuff before. It's pretty pliable. It's pretty messy too. That's kind of fun. And yeah, definitely haven't used a paint marker like this before. So, all right, I'm going to put my thinking cap on and see what I can come up with for you guys. I'll be back. Hey, everyone. So I have been thinking about what I want to do, and um, I've got a 9 by 12 cradled birch board right here. And I'm going to start collaging it with some vintage papers. Um, that's one of the ways I like to start my pieces. So I'm going to get going with that. This is regular gel matte medium. And this is what I like to use to glue my paper down.
guys, so I have this all collaged. The sides are done and the top here. I'm gonna quickly dry it with my heat gun and make sure it's all dry before I move on to the next step. Okay guys, so this is all dry now. And um, to kind of create a little bit more of a cohesive look, I'm going to stain the papers using walnut ink. And um, this is kind of kind of age everything and kind of bring it all to um, a place where it kind of connects more. Okay, so now that that is dry, I'm going to add some clear gesso and this is going to kind of seal everything and um, create some nice texture. Alrighty, so I am ready to do my stencil, I think, and you can see here that I already did a tester, which is why it's all turquoise. I uh, tested it on another piece of paper to kind of see how it looked and what I thought about it. So ignore all that turquoise. Um, we're going to be doing the stencil in actually a blend of Prussian blue liquid golden uh, fluid acrylic and some raw umber. So I'm making kind of a deep neutral uh, bluish tone. And the reason that I'm pulling in that raw, the Prussian blue is because I know that I'm going to bring Prussian blue in with my paint marker. So that is a part of my color palette, obviously. So I wanted to have it be um, present in the stencil. I'm actually going to take the stencil down because it is quite a large stencil and I don't want it to move on me. And then I like to use these little makeup uh, sponges and I'm going to just mix the colors together on the makeup sponge until I get kind of a dark bluish neutral sort of tone. I'm okay if there's some variation in the color. I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm not going to do this center part here, I don't think. Do I want to do that? Mm. No, I'm not going to do the center part. So I'm going to do the outside. Trying to get the impression of this sort of doorway. My little uh, stamp says, the greatest pleasure in life is doing what others say you cannot. And so the whole kind of idea behind the piece is um, that this gateway or this doorway, there's going to be a woman stepping through it. Um, and she, uh, she's climbed the stairs and she's entering into a dark doorway. And that takes guts, right, to step into the unknown and to do the things that people tell us we can't do. So that's kind of my thinking behind the, the symbolism of this doorway. And obviously, doorways and windows are pretty symbolic. And I think I am actually going to go right into this area because I think I can white it out. So I'm going to do the whole stencil and then I'll edit it as I go. That's what's so cool about stencils. You can really kind of use them the way you want to use them. You don't, they don't always have to be so straightforward. A lot of times I'll mask out a certain area or I'll just, you know, end up editing a part of it. And you can really make them your own and incorporate them in a way that doesn't so much look like a stencil. basic kind of doorway here. 
pretty graphic. Um, I can tell that I'm going to be adding some more paint in and incorporating this a little bit more so it's not quite so um, not quite so such a graphic look, not such like a paper cut look. So I have this uh, figure reference here that I printed off of Pinterest and it's just a, a vintage picture of a woman in a doorway and I think it's kind of perfect for this. I believe it's the right scale. So I'm going to cut it out so that I can kind of place it and see how I like it. So there's my lady. I think I want her like that. Kind of bracing herself on the edge of the on the edge of that doorway, you know, because She's had to go through a lot and she got all the way up here, so it's kind of fabulous. So I think I'm just going to stick her on here just for the sake of, you know, we're doing a lot of collage and maybe you don't feel like drawing her. I did draw her in my test one, but, um, you know, why not glue her down? She's the right size. She's got exactly the right figure pose that I need. So I'm going to get my glue and stick her down. I'm kind of thinking that maybe this should be light and she's in the shadow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover her in clear gesso. So we'll just again kind of seal her and then I'll be painting over her. So we'll just kind of prep the paper. And then I'm going to get my heavy bodied titanium white and the other color I'm going to be using, which goes beautifully with Prussian blue, is yellow ochre. start painting in some light coming through the doorway. Scrubbing the paint on with a circular motion. And because I'm going to put wax over this, it's um, everything's going to end up being quite uniform and feeling like it's all one layer. So she went she won't feel like she's pasted on, even though she is. It's the beauty of encaustic collage. use any water with the paint yet. It's just very, very rough. Now I'm going to do a different brush here and go into the darks. And again, I'm going to use that Prussian blue dark that I use for the stencil and start to kind of get her in here. I even go ahead and get my paint marker and add some blue into her dress. And then go ahead and wet it, kind of move it around a little bit.
I want this piece to feel a little bit grungy because remember we're going to be adding some wire, some of this rusted wire. So I don't want anything to be too precious. Um, so try and keep that in mind. my reference picture and kind of remember where the darks are and go back in with my Stabilo pencil. pan again. I love this blue color. It's really, really pretty. We have our dress drip a little bit. Take some compressed charcoal and start to rub along the edges here. Kind of, I want there to be sort of a, sort of a fogginess or like a darkness that she's coming out of. Pencil. Just add some more lines. 